Hello, my name is Philip Lawton. I'm the course director of the MSc in Smart and Sustainable Cities here at Trinity College. What I'd like to give you in the coming moments is a brief overview of our course, the contents of our course, the different core components, the optional components, and what you might expect to come out with at the end once you graduate within the MSc in Smart and Sustainable Cities. So I'm interested in cities, I'm passionate about cities, I've researched cities now for nearly two decades. And what I try to bring to my understandings of cities is the intertwining of the different elements, the physical and the social dynamics of cities, its physical form, how that has given shape through wider social processes. And it's fair to say that recently what we have seen essentially is, is the coming together and the emergence of what we might label as smart and sustainable urbanism as dominant elements in terms of urban transformation. We can see this at the local scale in terms of our everyday experiences, but fundamentally, this is about global processes. There are iterations of the smart city across the globe, whether it be the large scale new types of settlements that we see pop up, particularly in the last decade or so. Very often, there are promises embedded within this of sustainability. And so there are connections between these different ideals. These types of cities make promises about a form of utopianism. They make promises about a better life, about forms of inclusion, about forms of ecological dynamics, about forms of making sure that these cities essentially are more sustainable. And so the intertwining of the smart city and the sustainable city, our smart urbanism and sustainable urbanism, are key components of the transformations of cities over the last number of decades on a global scale. At the same time, in term, we, at the same time as the development of these new settlements, we also see the advent of smart technologies in terms of improving already existing cities. So smart technologies are used for, say, for example, traffic systems, the free flowing, the free movement of traffic within cities. We also see the embedding of what might be referred to as more ecologically friendly initiatives in cities across the world. And of course, maybe there is some form of tension between smartness and sustainability when we think about smart cities as encouraging and promoting the movement of traffic. What does this mean in terms of the e ecological footprint of cities as they expand, as I said earlier on, into the countryside that surrounds them? But overall, there is a desire embedded within both approaches to make cities more sustainable, to make cities spaces that have a, a better impact in terms of the earth, the earth that we live in, the earth that we share. And so these climatic challenges are key components of developing what we might refer to as an overall framework of both smart and sustainable cities. And so that's where this course is coming from. The course essentially is trying to be about the two of them, how they're intertwined, developing skills within students that enable them to go out into the world, to go back to work or whatever it might be within areas that they're familiar with, and with are, are areas that are new to them. But the key thing here is, is that they are essentially able to challenge these key issues. They are able to create new approaches, that they come up with new measures in terms of an overall sustainable approach to cities. And so this new program essentially is, is, is designed to equip students in terms of these skills. And so by taking this program, you will gain an in-depth knowledge in terms of the different approaches. And so in terms of doing this, Trinity is uniquely equipped in as much as we bring together, for example, the School of Natural Sciences, Com School of Computer Sciences, School of Engineering, so that when you leave with and graduate within the MSc in Smart and Sustainable Cities, you will have the skills taken from these different components. Even if we start with, for example, the School of Natural Science in which geography sits, not only will you have an understanding of the ecological dynamics of cities, but drawing on urban geography and the skills within urban geography and its overlap within planning, you'll also come out with the skills in terms of urban governance. The how, the why, these are really core components in terms of understanding how cities work. By understanding how cities work, what we are giving you is the skills to go out and make cities better places, to make them more sustainable. But on top of this, then, that brings us into other forms of skills that are necessary. So the more technical elements. Some of you may come to the program with a familiarity in terms of engineering or in terms of computer, computer science. 
And so essentially, by using these skills, by drawing on these skills, by building these skills, you'll then be better equipped to combine said skills with those from geography and those from planning. And so immediately we are upskilling, we are bringing together the different components. And then at the same time, both in terms of engineering, but also going back to School of Natural Science, the more environmental components of this are really crucial. And so how do we ensure that what we are creating is sustainable? How are we ensuring that it is ecologically sensitive and sustainable in terms of supporting life on this planet for the coming decades and for the coming century? And so overall, you come out with and you emerge with a cohesive set of skills that come together, that complement each other, and that make a student essentially or a graduate from this program one of the key leaders in terms of the types of transformations that are necessary in the coming decades. When we think about what a city is and the different elements that come together in terms of city life, there's no escaping the necessity, for example, to bring people together in terms of mobility, to think about how mobility impacts on our everyday lives. And so this image that's in front of you now, the connectivity between railway and bike infrastructure, for example, is a key element in terms of our movement within the city. It's a key element in terms of our everyday life, getting to work, going about our daily business. And so immediately the social component of the city comes to the fore. But it's impossible to think about this social component without also thinking about the more technical elements of it. So how do we understand the connectivity between railway infrastructure, bike infrastructure, both from a social perspective, but also then in terms of the types of skills that are necessary to make these a reality. Increasingly, what we see, and this is implicit in terms of the image that's in front of you, there's a drive towards trying to ensure that what we are creating on this earth is more sustainable. So in sustainable modes of transport, such as the connectivity between railway and bike infrastructures, becomes a core element in terms of planning the future city. And so by bringing all these different elements together, you are graduating from the MSc in Smart and Sustainability, Sustainable Cities, excuse me, with an ability essentially to understand the cohesiveness of the different elements of the contemporary city. And so in terms of the program itself, what we try to do here is bring these different elements together in terms of the different modules that you'll do. So all, as already alluded to, this is very much a transdisciplinary master's program. And so we're drawing upon natural science, computer science, and the School of Engineering. And so our core modules, for example, will give you skills within urban governance, urban sustainability, GIS, introduction to machine learning, a field trip, and a company placement. And so the urban governance component, for example, will give you skills in terms of understanding how the different elements of the city come together, the who, the management, the power dynamics, how different forms of governance work in different scales, how they work in different parts of the world. Linked in with this, then, we can think about urban sustainability, the sustainability measurements that are required in terms of understanding what the world could be, in terms of understanding the elements that would come together to make the world a more sustainable place, to make these urban areas more sustainable. And then, whether it be upgrading your technical skills in terms of GIS and introduction to machine learning, but are if it's if it's the are if these things are essentially new to you, these will then give you the more technical elements that are required in terms of a, a cohesive understanding of what smart and sustainable cities are about. And then the field trip and the company placement are designed essentially to give you an understanding of how these things work in everyday life. And so the field trip will be to places such as London, to Brussels, Amsterdam. And will be grounded in terms of an understanding of how the how of how people go about these different approaches. And then the company placement essentially will involve people going to and engaging with different uh, places and understanding how different companies work. We have a number of optional modules to, to, to choose from then as well. And again, just to just to state what's really important about this master's and one of its kind of key, I suppose, uh, unique features is that if you are coming into the master's with, for example, skills coming from engineering or coming from computer science, computer science, you will be essentially able to upskill, you'll be able to improve these skills by taking master's levels courses in, for example, artificial intelligence. If you're more interested in 
questions around the environment, for example, you'll then be able to hone those skills in terms of courses in environmental policies. If you're coming in from perhaps a human geography background or a related area, such as sociology or architecture, or whatever it might be, you might be more interested then in climate justice, climate change and development. Of course, you could be interested, you could come from these backgrounds and then be interested to pursue further things, to upskill, to change your direction. And of course, these modules are open for you as well. And so what essentially is the key kind of thing that we can take from this is, is that while we have our core modules that are the key elements in terms of the program, you're then able to choose your own path. You're able to become a unique individual with a unique set of skills that then can be used when you go into the workplace upon completion of this master's. And so the key learning objectives and then your graduate expectations, what might this be? And so when we think about, for example, the urban governance element, you will then be able to explain the drivers, nature and evolution of smart and sustainable urbanism as a modality of urbanization. And so when we look at and we think about the different examples, this might also come into your field trip as well. These different elements in terms of how they're combined will give you key skills in this regard. In terms of the more technical elements, you'll be able to analyze big data sets using technical tools to enable the better planning of cities. And so, for example, in your introduction to machine learning or within the optional module of artificial intelligence, you'll then be able to use these skills to enable the better planning of cities. You'll also be able to develop integrated plans to deliver smart and sustainable city interventions. So this is bringing together all the different components of the course. The integrated element of this is really, really crucial. Again, this refers back to the engagement between smart and sustainable. You'll be able to de deploy an excellent practical understanding of geographic information systems to deliver improvements to urban efficiency and sustainability. And so GIS as a core course within this, within this MSc essentially will give you those skills that allow the improvements that are necessary for urban transformation in the coming decades. You'll be able to apply an advanced level of understanding of ecology and the potential of nature-based solutions to urban problems. And so urban sustainability as a core element in this, but also again, some of the optional modules will allow you to hone your skills in this regard. And so the future of cities is reliant on our understanding of these nature-based solutions. So my, how might we ensure that cities are not having a negative effect upon their surroundings? How might we ensure that they are intertwined with nature, that they are at one with nature? And so you'll come out with a set of skills in terms of applying these understandings. And then finally, you'll be able to effectively design, develop and deliver independent research focused on key elements of smart and sustainable urbanization. And so as one of the core elements of the course, you'll write a dissertation. And so throughout the year, you will be able to hone your skills in terms of how you approach a research project, how you approach a research question. And in terms of the skills that you'll take for this, this, is, this will provide you a unique set of skills that is desired within the workplace of taking a task, of pursuing that task, of trying to understand how we might make better and more sustainable cities, of how, whether it be in public sector or the private sector, how you might actually develop what might be referred to as policies for the pursuit of more, in, in, of, of better and improved smart and sustainable cities. With that, I'd like to thank you and I'd be very open to people contacting me. I'm on philip.lawton at tcd.ie. I look forward to receiving your applications and I hope that you can join us in terms of trying to make better, more inclusive, more sustainable cities for the future. Thanks.